What's up guys, your casual gamer here. Now I got a different type video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create a free gaming logo using Placeit. Now Placeit has a ton of logos you can pay for, but keep in mind we're dealing with the free logos so the source will be limited. And also keep in mind that you may not be the only one using this logo, but yours will look a little different because we can customize it. Let's jump into it. All right guys, here we are at placeit.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. Now before we get started, the first thing you wanna do is create a free account. So let's go up to free account. And you just wanna go ahead and put your email in, put your password in that you create, and then you wanna to agree to the terms and conditions, prove you're not a robot, and if everything is good, then you should successfully be signed up and signed in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and click on the search bar and type in logo. Enter. You will be greeted with a bunch of random logos, but these aren't the ones we want. These are paid logos. We want the free logos. So let's come over here, go to the little drop down arrow and select free. Now these are the logos we want. And as you can see, they do look like they could be gaming logos. We have some other type logos. Let's go to page two. We have some more logos that can be used on a gaming channel. I really like this lion one right here. We have some music logos, some DJ logos. Let's go to page three. Wouldn't really say these are gaming logos, but. All right, so it looks like we have two and a half pages worth of logos. Let's go back and let's choose one. I'm gonna select that lion logo, this one right here, and we can work with this one. Now, once you select your logo, it's gonna take you to the editing screen, and here we can make our changes. We're gonna start with the font, the text, and the color. So let's come over here to where it says text. And we're gonna change this to, since this is a lion wearing a crown, we're gonna change this to king. Let's change our font. I'm just gonna pick something random. Let's see, let's do this. And then let's change our color to red. Exit out for our second name or well, second part of the name, we're gonna change this to Leo. Change the font. Mm, let me see, just something random. And we'll leave that white. Now, if you wanna reverse your logo, meaning having the name on the top and the logo at the bottom, you wanna hit this little button right here on the layout. And if you wanna switch it back, you hit this button. Now let's change our background. So let's come over here, select the little down arrow, and you have multiple colors to choose from for your background. But what I suggest guys is don't go with a color background, go with a transparent background. That way in case you wanna use this logo on top of a picture or you wanna put it on top of your stream as an overlay or anything like that, you can actually do that without having a background and it looks really clean and professional. And to get a transparent background, you wanna come all the way down here to the bottom right and select this little gray and white checkerboard. There we go, exit out. And now we have a transparent background. Now the main graphic color right now is brown, which makes sense, it's a lion, right? But we're gonna change that. So let's come up here to the little down arrow and let's select a dark gray. Exit out. Now for the accent color, I'm gonna leave this as red, but I'm gonna change it real quick just to show you guys what changes. Let's change this to a blue. That's what it would look like, but I'm gonna change it back to red because I like the red. And the last thing is background effect. Now this really doesn't matter because we have a transparent background, but if we would have went with a solid color, then you could change the background effect to what you're seeing right now, which is a fade to the top effect. We have a fade to the bottom effect, and we have two other effects. 
but since we're going transparent you have to make sure you hit no image so you have a nice clean background and everything will be invisible now if you're happy with everything and you're ready to download your logo let's go up to free download now they're going to let you know about the unlimited subscription which is $14.95 a month and $89.69 a year but we just want the free version with no watermark and high resolution but i will let you guys know by getting the free version you will only be able to get one download per week so if you want to go back and create a new logo or any changes you will have to wait a week before you can do so let's go ahead and free download and your download is going to start once it's finished click on click here to download and then we can open our logo once it's finished and there we go we have our logo let's come up here to the top three dots in the corner and select save as and I'm just gonna save it to my desktop I'll call it King Leo save all right guys, I put the logo in my stream so you guys can see what the logo looks like in OBS. And there it is right there, looking real clean. Now let me show you what it looks like enlarged. Now here's the logo super size, and I think it looks real good. Let me know what you guys think. Oh my. Oh. What the? Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my accounts in the description below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.